everybody welcome back to my channel and for the much awaited shopping haul um i am so very sorry it has taken me a very long time to film these videos i've been on a roller coaster ride since i've arrived in london finding a place to stay um, trying to book holidays, trying to run my business, trying to do so many other things that I kind of didn't really get around to doing this, so I do apologise. Um, and a bit of context on why I'm doing shopping hauls, because it's very unlike me to do that. So I will explain a little bit before we get started. Um, so as you know, I've moved to the UK for a considerable time and because of that I needed to get a lot of things when I first came here now you know that included medication and god knows so many other things shoes and bags and all that stuff which meant that I couldn't bring a lot of my clothes actually I couldn't bring majority of my clothes I bought very minimal quantity that got me through the first couple of weeks but then i started to realize there were so many gaps in my wardrobe that i was really struggling with the weather here is very much like melbourne but you know a notch further where it just changes throughout the day and i have been had been struggling the first month of moving here so i decided i'm going to invest in some pieces now thankfully i had sort of preempted this and so i had sold a lot of my pieces in Australia before I came here because I had a feeling I may need to invest in them again however because I brought I've got I'm spending in Australian dollars like I've my savings are in Australian dollars and I earn in Australian dollars with my clients however I'm spending in pounds which is quite expensive so because of that there is a financial constraint and because of which I am not spending on um, very high-end brands which I normally would in Australia which would be a lot easier if I was sort of living there working there it's different so I've had to you know I had to make a decision okay if I'm going to invest in high street brands I'm going to make sure that I still stay true to what I believe in, what my you know ethos are and what I tell my clients, which is buy good quality. If you are buying from High Street, if your budget is low, that's okay. Buy good quality pieces that you know are going to last you, are going to wash well, and then, then you can keep that in your wardrobe for a very long time. And then the cost per wear is low. You haven't done damage to the environment and you know it's just going to be something that you can justify to a certain degree now obviously it's not as good as investing in sustainable brands but i knew i needed to build the backbone of my wardrobe and then slowly as time goes and i can potentially sell these pieces and then slowly start investing in better pieces so that's the background now I've had to buy quite a few pieces from majority from Zara actually and to my surprise they have improved their quality and they are trying to be a lot more sustainable so I've been careful with what pieces I buy I've done my research and kind of bought those pieces I've done a lot of shopping from H&M as well and a few pieces from Mango um, and then I also picked up a few luxury items now the Zara haul is going to be the biggest depending on how we go I might split it into two we'll see how we go but before further you know I keep rambling on let's get started now as you can see I am wearing this stunning satin shirt I do apologize by the way for the lighting um, I don't have a ring light I trying to make the most of what I have here um, because I can't justify spending on a lot of equipment here. Yeah, I've got my camera. You are stacked on as many things as I could um, to create a tripod and yeah that's that's my setup so do apologize for that. Now without me chatting on further this is the satin. I'm going to come closer so you can have a look at it in lighting. That's the um, it is a satin finish it's obviously polyester and viscose blend um, now I had to size up quite a bit in this I'm normally a large in Zara 
um, but I picked up this one in a double XL um, so don't get hung up on sizes um, and as promised I will link everything below at the moment I have styled it um, I might fix my camera a little bit Um, so I'm currently wearing it with my Zara mum jeans, which again, I've picked up here in the UK. So that's what it looks like. I've picked up uh, the jeans in three colors um, and I picked up this shirt in a couple of other colors. So I've got this in the fuchsia pink and the white. So I will show everything in the cutout, but basically I was quite surprised by the quality of this shirt. Um, the craftsmanship that has been put into it is actually brilliant. They've, um, the, yeah, the construction, the quality, fantastic. And it seems that they are making this a staple because I've seen this in Australia. I've seen it here. I was in Mallorca um, a few weeks ago, a few days ago, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. And it was there as well. I got lucky and I picked up the fuchsia pink one in Mallorca for a little bit cheaper because obviously it's a Spanish brand. But yeah, I would style this with casually like I'm wearing or I would wear it with trousers, potentially a black slip skirt to sort of have like a monochromatic look. I would wear it with shorts um, and then also maybe even with like wide leg or skinny jeans. So quite a versatile piece you can dress it up or down if you want to dress it up you can wear it with trousers have a blazer on have a nice leather jacket on you can have a trench coat on the world is your oyster so there's many 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 ways of wearing it i'm going to show you the other two colors in the cutaway i'll try and show you some ways of wearing these pieces but if you follow me on instagram you will see that i style a lot of my new purchases um, several ways on on there so let me show you the fuchsia pink and the creamy white ones so these are the other two colors that i have um, the fuchsia pink let me just turn it this way so you can see it in the light it's quite a vibrant pink but it is perfect for summer um, to dress it with lighter colors and in winter I might even just use it with black and like more deeper tones and this is a classic um, creamy white um, what I love about these is the um, construction on the shoulders it's actually really good um, let me bring it closer so you can see this construction the stitching is actually quite high quality which is I was quite surprised when I first saw this in Australia so I picked up a couple of colors there um, I'm trying to get my mum to send them to me. I don't know how that's going to go, but yeah. So these are the other two shirts in the same styles. I've now got these three colours, which is lovely because I love satin feel skirt shirts because they're just really good to wear all year round. Given I'm living, you know, I used to live in Melbourne and now I live in London, the weather is quite similar, so you don't get so many hot days. So this is kind of like really good. You know, you could either wear it on its own or wear it as a layer on top. So brilliant pieces to invest in. With the jeans, I will show you the other two pairs that I have picked up. Um, so I picked up obviously this washed out black one, which fits me quite well. Um, I'm not sure if you can see me. I'll try my best to show you. Um, but yeah, that's what this fits like and I'll show you the other two colours and then you can see them in the cutaway what they look like as well. This is one of the colours. Let me bring it closer. That's what the colour looks like. Um, but I would wear this with a white shirt. <laughs> Honestly, any shirt like with what I'm wearing, with, with the pink one, with the white one. Um, with a jumper so that's the beauty of mum jeans because they're in between and you can wear them all year round because they're not like skinny so skinny makes it harder because you would only wear it winter but with mum jeans they're perfect because you can wear it all year round so that's one of the colors it looks similar but it's not it's a it's a bit deeper than that one um so that's what this color looks like and this is like a good happy in between and a really good one for summer 
so yeah I've got these three pairs of mum jeans and I am wearing them on repeat Zara jeans I must admit Zara bottoms are fantastic shirts and tops can be touch and go you get lucky with some of them but bottoms 100% I most of my bottoms even back in Australia were from Zara short skirts um, jeans jeans and trousers are the best at Zara so there you go those are the denims now I've got a couple of other shirts that I picked up I picked up two linen shirts as well from Zara um, uh, so let me show those ones to you as well so you may have seen this linen shirt this khaki green linen shirt on my Instagram if you follow me there on TikTok Instagram and then I've picked up the white one a couple of days ago because I was on a hot day I struggle with a poplin shirt because it can get quite hot picked up these two I would potentially style them with trousers um, shorts denim shorts casual shorts um, on top of a shirt um, tied that could be another way of wearing them um, I'll try and pop pictures of how I've already worn it or you know cutaways of what I would style it with but yeah these are the two linen shirts that I picked up and I just realized I also picked up a poplin shirt so this is this is the poplin shirt now it's not your average Joe poplin shirt um, which is what I initially thought and I was going to almost put it back but then I saw the back and let me bring it closer have a look at this beautiful button detail here it actually looks lovely so I will show this to you in the cutaway but yeah this shirt is uh, like a new take on um, how you would wear um, a nice simple poplin shirt and actually you can unbutton these as well which is really cool because you can have like a open kind of like you know back so yeah I really liked this shirt so these are the white trousers that I've picked up from Zara. They are a straight leg white trouser. Um, the fun part about them is they've got this um, split detail, which is quite cool actually, because if you're wearing heels or pumps, uh, even um, loafers, it's quite nice to see a bit of your ankle. It um, elongates your body quite a lot. So if you can, as you can see in the cutaway, I would style this both, um, you know, formally, you have it more elevated, whereas you can easily style it down with a white t-shirt, a trench coat and a pair of sneakers and totally like bring it down to more casual. So next up, I picked up a cute little play suit um, while I was in Mallorca. So it has just arrived here in the UK. I, I didn't see it up until like two days ago um, when I picked up the linen shirt so I'll show you the cute play, play suit now so this is the cute little play suit that I have picked up um, that's the cute little print um, again with this play suit as you can see in the cutaway you can dress it down with flat sandals or like sneakers if you wanted to but you could also elevate it and go to like a girls night or like a date night with a pair of heels and a cute little pouch bag and you can totally dress it up i would easily wear this to a barbecue or like a garden party or something like that so so i just realized um i lied <laughs> i picked up two skirts i picked up one denim skirt which as you can see in the cutaway I actually um, shared it on my Instagram um, when I did what I'm wearing today's story um, but I like that it's got this um, if I can get the button right and this asymmetric detail which is quite nice it's quite a cool detail um, yeah and I don't have I don't think I've ever had any denim skirts quite happy with this purchase I've already worn this quite a few times so very happy that I'm getting um, my wear out of it and the cost of my wear is going to be quite low. So it is actually more of a skirt rather than just a skirt. So it does have like obviously the short detail in there, which is brilliant. That's the cute little skirt. Let me come closer so you can see it. It's got this brochure on lace. Um, I think that's how you say it. Uh, detail. 
um, and it's really cute um, but I would probably wear this with a t-shirt and sneakers or a nice shirt like maybe not like a satin shirt because it's got like broadery details so maybe like a cotton shirt um, or like a cute um, bodysuit and a blazer that's what I was thinking that was the idea I had in mind when I bought this skirt. So I picked up these um, white shorts, uh, which I've actually styled on Instagram um, quite a bit recently. So as you can see in the cutout, I was wearing this um, in one of the videos I shared a couple of days ago. Um, I will show both actually, both the videos that I've shared on Instagram. One is dressed up, one is dressed down, which is you know, a way of showing that even a smart shorts can be dressed down. So I picked up the same one in a navy blue as well. So haven't had a chance to wear this one. I'm hoping to wear this um, this afternoon. I'm going to see my brother and his wife for dinner. So I'm hoping to wear this one um, for that. Um, so this was £29 and um, quite a nice structured um, pair of shorts. So that's the second pair of smart shorts. Then I also picked up two pairs of shorts in Mallorca which are more really just summer shorts and more like holiday vibes. So uh, because I'm here on a holiday I thought you know I definitely need a couple of pairs of shorts that I can wear on holiday. So let me show those to you. So the first one is again another broadery, I can't, I don't know if I'm saying this right, broadery anglaise, is that how we say it? Um, and it's a beautiful cobalt a blue. I am loving this colour, I'm all for it this season and I absolutely love the shape, the style and I would wear it, you know, here in London as well, of course. I mean, it's not just for holidays, but in summer only. Um, so yeah, I picked up these really cute shorts and I bought them when I was in Mallorca. I've got a size large in them. The one that I picked up was this one. Now I absolutely adore this print and like the embroidery on it. Like how stunning is this cream and this beautiful like green, army green on it. Um, absolutely love it i would wear this very similar to the blue one with um a nice you know maybe the satin blouse that i have or have a bodysuit and a linen shirt um dress it up dress it down so loads of ways of wearing these cute shorts absolutely adore so this is the black blazer that i have picked up quite a classic cut it I think I've got like one of those um, brownie like colors in back in Australia in this blazer as well. And I remember wearing that quite a lot. So quite a good style, good length. Um, I got it in an extra large because I do like, as you can tell from my style, I wear everything oversized. Sometimes I don't need to, but I just love oversized. So that's just how I am. Top is normally oversized for me. So one way or the other. Okay, so this is the lovely apple green blazer that I actually bought this one when I was in Mallorca. I bought, again, I buy an extra large at Zara. Beautiful color. I would wear it all year round. I would wear it with the beiges, the blacks, the browns, the creams, and also wear it with a pop of color. Like I could wear the fuchsia um, pink shirt. So, Dress it up, dress it down, blazer, not much to say about a blazer. Um, and then I've got a waistcoat um, and I also realised I picked up two tops. So Here is the cute little waistcoat with the uh, detail to make it more fitted if I wanted. I picked it up in an extra large and I got this only a couple of days ago and I had a vision of wearing this with black trousers, black shorts, black skirt, wear it on top of a t-shirt, so quite a cool piece to have. Um, I'm so glad waistcoats are coming back. I used to love them as a kid and it just makes me so much happier to see a lot of the styles that I loved growing up are coming back. So that is the style, very simple tortoiseshell buttons. Now, 
Finally, two more pieces to go and then we are done with this video so you don't have to see me ramble on anymore. Let me bring those two pieces for you. So the first one is this very, very cute little cowl neck um, top which reminds me of something I had years ago. I used a bit longer um, and I used to, I, I think I wore it to the point that I had to throw it away because it was really bad and I couldn't donate it, couldn't do much with it. Um, and this one will look, it looks lovely with the white trousers that I've shown you earlier. And I would wear this with a skirt, with jeans, with other trousers. So quite a beautiful piece. Good fabric as well, like quite a sturdy fabric for a white top. I always worry with white that they might be see-through, but this one, really good. So very happy with this piece. And we come to the final piece now, which I have a feeling may no longer be on in stock, but I will try and find it and um, show it to you um, and try and, yeah, I really hope, I know I've seen a similar one come out in like a beige color with a little bit more different detail, but how stunning is this beautiful corset style top? This gives me massive like Jacquemus vibes, like Max Mara Jacquemus. What a stunning blouse, like, I, like, it's so weighty, it's so beautiful, good quality, like really heavy quality, it tells you that it's good, and it was not cheap, it was £49, um, but I don't regret it because I've already, um, actually I've worn it with the tag on, <laughs> just nervous, I really hope it wasn't like hanging out, but um but yeah i absolutely adore this it would be brilliant all year round you could wear it under a blazer in the cooler weather and obviously now you can wear it on its own i wear it with jeans with trousers with skirts with even with shorts like it is an absolutely stunning piece but yeah this is the top and that brings me to the end of the zara haul oh my god that was a very long haul and i do apologize for this big long haul but you know when you move cities you do have to start again and I didn't realize that I would have to when I made the decision to come here so but it's been fun so you know what I can't complain I absolutely love it I hope you enjoyed all the pieces let me know which one is your favorite and if you'd like me to style it in you know a different way if you want to to sort of understand more about sizing I will try and link everything down below everything if I can't find it I'll try and link similar but yeah, and if you want to see me style these pieces more, follow me on like TikTok and follow me on you know um, Instagram. And if you don't already subscribe, please do. It tells me that you like my content. It make it'll give me more joy that you, you know, you interact with me and you comment on my posts, and then also you just um, you know subscribe because it will then mean a lot to me that that I would want to then create more content for you because it gives me motivation to do that. So. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. I will see you again. I will be sharing my Mallorca vlog next, and then I will share the mango and the H&M haul. So stay tuned, and I will see you in the next one. See you guys. Look after yourselves. Bye.